we are off to a really good start here. Five games for five bucks, PS4 games for five bucks. Do you buy for other people or do you resell? What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. And tonight we are looking for clearance toys, video game, Lego, anything we can buy to resell on Amazon or eBay to make extra money. That's what we're doing tonight. If you enjoy content like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're gonna run into Walmart. It is getting kind of late. I don't have a ton of time, but hopefully we'll get lucky and we'll find some good deals. So if you're into uh, finding deals, making money, cool stuff like that, thanks for hanging. Talk to you a little bit. All right, so like usual, we're gonna start here in the clearance section and see if there's anything we just can't live without. Looks like they do have some ride-on toys that I haven't scanned these, but I know I'm not gonna mess with these for Amazon. But if you're looking for some toys for your kids right now, or right on toys more specifically right now might be a good time to go check your local walmart because they have some of these guys on clearance let's see what we've got over here we've got cell phone cases i know we're not going to mess with that 62 dollars was 65 definitely not a, a good deal there some big razor scooter for 300 bucks it's probably a little cheaper i'm not even going to bother scanning it just because i know that i'm not going to buy it but they do have beyblades kids toys what's this 65 bucks was 100 for this little car thing so yeah definitely check out your local walmart for this kind of stuff mr chill this is a pretty good price on mr chill it's 10 bucks it was 55 i am not approved to sell this on amazon and i'm guessing that this company does infringement copyright claim because there's only like one person selling these so i'm not even gonna mess with those so we're gonna pass on those candles are literally 13 cents off how do you even call that a clearance not a very encouraging start here raya 30 bucks was 50 nothing too sexy over here <laughs> Keep an eye out for this Disney Encanto house. I've had several people point this out that I've missed this more than once. Walmart was selling this for 45 bucks and it's currently selling on Amazon for 150 right now. So, okay, cool. So yeah, so not really off to the best start. So it's all good. You gotta start somewhere. So we are gonna go ahead and move to the toy section to see if we can find anything over there and hopefully make this trip actually worthwhile. So let's see what we can find. I'll let you guys know. All right, guys and gals, you know this is what we came for, the Lego aisle. So first glance, I don't see any clearance stickers, so that's not really a good deal, or <laughs> that's not really a good omen of things to come. But if you know the prices like I do, you can find stuff without clearance stickers. Like this is 30 bucks. This is normally a $50 set. So this might actually be worth grabbing, except the box is a little beat up. And I like to sell stuff in brand new condition on Amazon. So I'm probably going to pass on that one. Looks like we have a couple more. Uh, let's see. This is 36 bucks. This is normally like a $60 set. And it, see, it doesn't have the clearance sticker on it, but I know that that's a good deal. So I'm probably gonna grab some of those. If you're looking at stuff like this and you wanna know if it's a good deal, use the Walmart app to scan it. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in just a second. But we'll give you an example. So like this right here, this chain chomp is 12 bucks. This is normally a $20 set. But if you were just curious what it was going for, I'll show you. So I'm gonna pull up the Walmart app. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the barcode. And it shows that this is a $12 set. If I pulled it up on Walmart, it looks like third-party sellers are selling it for 25. So even on walmart.com, it's already being sold for double its value. Now I'm gonna use the Amazon seller app to see how much it's selling for on Amazon. And on Amazon, it's only selling for 16. So not really that good of a deal at the moment, but I think that it's a cool set. That's like 40% off. According to lego.com, this set is retiring soon. So this is the perfect time to stock up on these while they're cheap before they sell out and then the value and the price increase. So I actually think I'm gonna grab it. Here's another set. This set actually has a clearance sticker on it from 828. So apparently this has been on clearance for a while. Let's see how much this one's actually going for. So this one's probably going for 12. It's not even showing up in the system, but it's going for 12. So to look up prices, use the Walmart app, and then you can find the prices in the store. And then if you wanna find the selling prices like I do, use the Amazon seller app. So I'm gonna spend some time and go up and down and scan a whole bunch of this stuff and see if we can find some stuff to buy to resell online. So yeah, overall, I think we're off to a good start, but I'm gonna look and I will get back to you guys. All right, 
right, so we're off to a good start. So here's the situation. A lot of these were marked down on clearance. I just got done talking to that employee who was super helpful. A lot of these are marked down on clearance, but they don't actually have clearance stickers. So the only way you're gonna find that is if you use the Walmart app to scan everything. Now I've gone through and I've scanned a bunch and I already know a lot of them that are on clearance. Like, like I said, this one is 30 bucks. This is normally 50. So I know I'm gonna grab a bunch of these because those are selling for 50 and when they retire they're just going to go up this set actually did recently retire on lego.com so i'm buying as many as i can find some of these are on clearance but not really much of a discount these guys right here i know i'm going to grab these i also grabbed this minecraft set i really like this set i think this is about to retire soon so i really like the minecraft theme for Legos, they, they sell really well for Lego, not Legos. This one right here is 12 bucks. This is normally 20. So I'm probably gonna grab some of those. Those are 40% uh, off. This set is also retired on Lego.com and it's gonna be harder to find as time goes on. So I'm gonna pick up as many of these as I can as well. This is good for me because I, I know which ones to look for. Somebody else would have to take the time to go through and scan. So as you do more scanning, as you learn more about the normal prices on stuff, it gets easier to just pick stuff out. Also, always double check the top shelf because sometimes you can find ones on the top shelf that are on sale. Like this up here, this is some more of those Joker trikes and these ones are on clearance. And again, these aren't even marked. I am gonna grab some of those, gonna spend some more time, do some more scanning, but I just wanna let you guys know that we are in good shape. He's helping me with a couple of them down there. Yeah, this is another good one right here. This one's $48.75. This is normally an $80 set. So for $48.75, that's a really good price on that one right there. This is another one that's on clearance for $29. This is normally $50. That's another good one right there. Yeah, these ones right here, I'm probably going to pass. If they were like $5, I'd grab them. But for $11 and $12, I'm not going to grab them. Anyways, I'm going to scan and look some more, and I'll let you guys know what I find. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. All right, so just going to give you guys a quick update. I've already kind of gone through all of these down here. I didn't grab all of the Batman Joker's trike. We left a couple of those. We left a couple Mario sets that are on clearance. A couple of those down there. We do have a nice buggy full going on here. We've got a lot of the Batman sets down here. We've got some of the Super Marios. These guys are 24. These are normally 40. These are 36. These are normally 60, I believe. And we've got a Minecraft set. Desert Pokey, this is 12, normally 20. And we are slowly working our way down this way. I'm also trying to help clean up. The guy that was talking with me is super friendly. He's trying to clean up too. So I'm doing my best to try to help him out. So we're moving down here. You might feel a little deja vu if you've watched my other videos lately, but- What is it? A deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. This one right here is 48. 75 and this is normally like a 90 dollars set so this is a really good price so i'm going to scan it real quick and i'm going to show you guys the discounts and stuff amazon this is selling for 85 bucks and it's right here in the store for 50. so we're gonna have to scoop some of those up probably not going to sell them right away i like to hold on to stuff for a little while but that's just me you could sell them right now and make 10 15 20 bucks but i'll probably hold on to them these guys are 29 this is normally a $50 set, so we're going to grab some of those too. Again, I'm going to pass on the video sets. I've got enough video, I think, and so I'm going to grab some more sets. We might have to get another buggy because this buggy is fl filling up pretty quickly. We're about halfway through the aisle, so we're off to a pretty good start. Let me grab those Disney Raya sets. So. Yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about Legos or investing or BrickSeek or any of that kind of stuff. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so I think we're gonna have to grab another buggy because this one is pretty full. I've got a little room down there to work with, not a whole lot, but we're off to a really good start here. I haven't even looked in the other aisles. I will look in the other aisles. But knowing that everything is not really marked down with clearance stickers, that makes it a little more difficult. So I will take the time to look in the other aisles to see what I can find. But uh, it's just gonna be harder because <laughs> they don't have stickers. But uh, it's all good. So they do have some sets down here that are really good deals. Like this one is 40 bucks for this X-Wing. Uh, I think this is selling on Amazon for like 80. 
This Y wing is 42 bucks. This is like a $70 set. I was hoping to find some ATATs or ATSTs, but they only have this one. I was hoping to find the older one, the red one, but they don't have any. I do want to grab some of those Star Wars sets. Again, they don't have any of uh, some of these other clearance ones that are marked down. This one is 66 bucks. This is normally like a $90 set. So I might grab this one too. That's a pretty cool set. Do it. Uh, the Child is marked down. Imperial Shuttle is marked down. I don't think the discounts are good enough for me to grab those right there. If you watch my other videos, I'm sorry that some of this is kind of a repeat, but I am buying a lot of the same sets because I really do believe in them and I like to stock up. The Speed Champion sets, these are on sale for 16 and I think these are retired. Yeah, a lot of these Speed Champion sets recently retired and they were normally 20 bucks. So for 16 bucks, that's a pretty good pickup, but these are getting harder and harder to find in store. So these ones are actually selling on Amazon for like 35 bucks right now, which is pretty crazy for, for these. So definitely gonna grab some of those. The GTR is selling for like 30-ish. Uh, this set right here, this set is, is 16 bucks, and I'm a huge fan of Jurassic World sets to sell on Amazon. They sell really good. The, the value goes up really quickly. And these ones are 16, and I believe these are retired, and these are selling for like 30 bucks too. So you could buy them, flip them for a quick buck, but more, most likely I will buy them just to throw them into storage. So yeah, so we still need to grab these, these, that, those. Check out these awesome sets that are on a huge discount down here. Police Station, 54 bucks. This is a big set. I'm pretty sure this is normally like an 80 or a $90 set. That's a really good deal. This one has me a little perplexed. This one says Lego City Fire Station 42, but when I scan it, it says 70 bucks. Ask the guy to look it up for me, and the UPC doesn't match this right here. So maybe there was a different one that was 42 bucks, but I'm still gonna ask and see if they'll honor that price that's right there. So no, we still need to grab those. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably check out with what I have and then come back and do another cart. Cause if I try and do two carts at once, they might try and give me issues, but they love giving me issues anyway. So anyways, I think I'm gonna check out with this buggy right here and then we'll come back and then clean up the rest of the aisle. Sound like a plan? Good. All right, let's keep moving. Just for conversation's sake, I wanna show you guys that there is a lot of other clearance and other departments that I'm actually not buying, but I'm just gonna give you an idea of what they've got. This store has a lot of different outdoorsy type stuff on clearance. They've got backpacks, camping stuff for 25 bucks. They've got some Pioneer stereo and speaker systems for 75. I don't know if that's a good deal. Maybe I'll scan that real quick and see if that's worth picking up to resell. I'm not sure. They've also got some vacuums over here that are like 100 bucks off, 140 bucks off. Let me clarify. These are 160, was 300. So, I mean, there is just stuff up and down every aisle. You can see some more clearance, clearance stickers back there, clearance signs. But yeah, there is just stuff everywhere. Oh, here's another one right here for a basketball game for 65. So anyways, just showing you guys that there is other stuff on clearance, but since I have limited space in my vehicle, I have to pick and choose the stuff that I wanna buy to resell. And that's right now is mainly consisting of Legos and other toys that I find. So anyways, I'm gonna to continue to try to head out with my cart full of Lego, and then I'll come back to finish up but there is nobody back here that can help me with electronics. So look at this, look what I just found. They have a bunch of clearance video games. 12 bucks, 12 bucks, 10 bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, eight bucks, five, five bucks for Just Dance 2021. And I can't get to it because there is nobody here working in electronics because they've already gone home for the night. So unfortunately, this is a downside to coming late at night. There's nobody back here that can help me get these video games. So that sucks, but I can't get to those. And there was also some over in the PlayStation section too. So kind of a double-edged sword, you know, there's nobody back here. So it is what it is, but we're gonna keep moving because we are I'm slowly running out of time here. I'm gonna pass on those. They've got some headsets for 25 bucks. Pretty good deal, those are half off. So, I still haven't made it out yet. I asked a couple employees if they could help me. They're gonna see if they can find somebody that has keys. 
but apparently everybody in electronics called out six so they closed it at seven so i hope somebody can help me because if they can there is some ps5 games for five bucks ps4 games for five bucks some really good deals down here so i'm going to see if somebody can help me fingers crossed maybe we can get these games down here let's we'll see you want me to just take them all I buy some to resell, I add some to my collection. Um, and it's, I mean, it's getting harder and harder nowadays. Well, everything's going digital, unfortunately. Yep. This lady was able to check out some keys and let me into the video game case. And because they were closing soon, I tried to scan the video games as quickly as I could to find all the profitable ones. We're buying a lot. If you're okay with that. I don't care. <laughs> okay. About that. I know, but this is faster than me calling them all out. That's the reason I'm standing right here with them. I'm watching. Watching like a hot. As long as me and you don't get in trouble, I don't care. Look, you won't get in trouble at all, I promise you that. But this will fall on me if anything, I really don't care anymore. So I scanned through all the PlayStation games and found a very nice stack of discounted clearance games, and then she said she'd let me look at the Xbox games too. Alright, I want to get that stack if that's okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes they put, you know, sometimes they're weird about it. They put limits on it or it's kind of arbitrary. You know, they're like, oh, well, you can only get one of each of these, you know, so. But nobody's ever told me such a rule. So guess what? We ain't playing that game tonight. <laughs> okay. Like, you willing to spend the money, sir? Spend it. <laughs> you, do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, well. Yep. What's going on everybody? So I had to record an ending to this video because unfortunately my GoPro died because I was recording for so long and I didn't have a uh, extra battery with me. So planning ahead, I will keep an extra battery with me. I did end up getting quite a few PlayStation 4 games and Xbox games, so I did pretty good there. I got one shopping cart full of Lego and unfortunately when I went to check out, there was only one checkout lane where there was a person there. All the other lanes were self-checkout and I could only do the lane with the regular person because you can't use a tax exempt card at the self checkout. So because it took so long at the one lane where there was just the one person doing it, by the time I finished checking out with my shopping cart of the video games and the Lego, they were closed and they wouldn't let me go in and grab the rest of the Lego that I wanted to get. And unfortunately, when I went back to the store a few days later, all of the Lego had pretty much been picked up, but it's okay. We still got a bunch of Lego. That was a really good deal. I picked up a bunch of video games that were on clearance that were really good deals like five bucks six bucks seven bucks sorry i didn't think to make more pictures of the games and stuff like that you know next time maybe i'll do that so i'm kind of looking for feedback on something would you like it if I started to do a financial breakdown at the end of the videos. I used to do this when I first started making videos and I stopped doing it because the retention, the viewer retention really dropped off. So I didn't really feel like it was value added. Would you be interested in me doing like a short recap at the very end, talking about like what I paid for everything, what I expect to make and like a potential return on investment. If that's something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know down there. If I get enough interest, maybe I'll start doing that. We'll give it a shot. You know, if nobody's interested or if I start doing it and the retention drops off again that I just won't do it anymore because it's not value added. But if that's something you want to see, like a financial recap at the end of the video, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.